Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Era Viper Rides podcast. This is a uh, special Meet the Team uh, edition of the Era Viper Rides podcast. Uh, with us is our one of our new riders this year, racers this year, Maria Vasquez. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Excited to be here. Awesome. Awesome. It's been a while since I've seen you. Um, <laughs> I've missed you the last couple of races that you worked. You, Maria is also a, uh, a crew member here at Aravipa, so she works some of our races. Um, so I've missed a couple of the last uh, um, races that you were. And uh, and you missed a couple of the last races that you signed yeah. up for me. Yeah, I know. I know. No, uh, I'm, I'm sad not, about I'm not that. Hurt. I'm, not hurt. I'm not hurt about that. <laughs> Just a little. Um, but no, welcome. Yeah, Thank welcome. You. So yeah, we're going to get to know our, uh, our race team this year. Um, we're going to do a, a special uh, set of um, episodes uh, dedicated to each of you. Um, and Maria drew the first card, so she's here first. Oh. So let's start. And I gave her no prep. <laughs> but we're talking about you, so Uh-oh. I know we can do it. Um, just tell us a little bit about yourself, um, you know, where you grew up, how you got to Arizona, that kind of, just the, the, kind of the basics. How much time do we have, you said? One <laughs> we hour have only? have all the time you Okay. <laughs> um... Well, I'm originally from Puerto Rico, and I moved to the States in 2014, I think. A job took me to Naples, Florida. Then another job took me to Ohio. This is a short version. And then from Ohio, I ended up here in Arizona in 2020. So okay. in the midst of the pandemic. And I was grateful at the moment. I no longer have the job. Okay. Um, now everything that I do is cycling related, so I'm super excited about it. Um, took me a while. Um, sure. How do I got into cycling? It's a very long story. I don't know if you want to dive into that or if let's you have specific it. questions. No, let's do it. Talk about cycling. <laughs> were you were you on uh, bikes as a as a young girl? No, um, so I was a runner. Early? Okay, I was a runner uh, since I was in fourth grade all the way through um, high school and then some more. And then in 2008, I was going through a rough patch in my life, and somehow I got to spinning. Okay. The instructor was a mountain biker. Well, and I was that person who sat like, you know, used the bicycle right in front of her. And she says, why don't you come to the trails and join us? And I was bad. <laughs> um, so funny because nobody, not a lot of people know that I started on the uh, trails and I was really bad. But okay. I kept going. I kept going and falling and breaking lips and teeth and everything. Right. Um, and one day, I can't remember how I decided to go into road cycling and then, of course, I decided to go into the hardest thing ever, which was like long distances, sure. just because. And I started with super long distances, uh, self-supported. Okay. Um, and that gave me a few titles of like, you know, first Puerto Rican to whatever. Sure. And it was exciting. So after that, um, I did the, I think the, the one event that actually uh, meant or, or gave me a purpose in the cycling industry. Uh, there was a giant pivot after I did that. So um, after I did PVP, I met a few people. One of them calls me and says, hey, they're doing a project where six women are going to do through the France all 21 stages. Would you like to be part of it? And I was sitting down. I will never forget. Uh, I had, I mean, I still have my three kids, but they were younger. Sure. And... Um, without asking, thinking, thinking probably it was a joke or something. I said, sure. And it was real. So be careful what you sign <laughs> exactly. up. Exactly. Right? Um, and, and, you know, we did all 21 stages. Um, the purpose of it was mainly to promote more women getting into bikes and to show the world that women like regular women, you know, with work and families, kids, et cetera, right. could, you know, put up a training and, do something as, as hard. And um, yeah, after that, nothing was the same again. It was, wow. it was like, okay. <laughs> My life became, you know, something around uh, cycling and it was it was awesome. That's great, that's great. Um, so how long, this is all road, correct? At this yes. point? Uh, you kind of you switched yes. out of the trails, which you started with. Yes. Um, so how, how did you get back to the trails? Because <laughs> as long as I've known you, um, which is a right around 2020, 2021, when we first kind of met at, at one of the races, um, it's all been trails. And I know you still ride on the road as yes. well, um, but your Instagram certainly doesn't show that too much. <laughs> um, so what was that transition like back from um, doing predominantly road into trail? So it's very interesting. Um, 
I was having a hard time when I moved here finding roads. I mean, later on, I found places and stuff, and I was like, oh, my gosh, you know. But it was super hard for me to feel as comfortable as I felt in Ohio riding outside okay. by myself because I usually do my training on my own because nobody wants to go, you know, like, oh, sure, let's go to ride 200 miles. Right. Um, and my boyfriend is a mountain biker, so I said, well, why don't I – you know, go on the trails because I don't have to mind cars or sure. finding routes. Like, you know, I go to, on a trail and, and that's it. Yep. Um, and, and I did. Um, I was also getting very, very anxious and very nervous with my road racing. Um, you know, getting to the start line was like a nightmare. Really? And I needed some sort of, uh, I don't know, zen zone or, or okay. something that will take the edge out of it. And it's interesting because mountain biking in the beginning, even though I was falling and breaking everything, sure. I was I was relaxed on the trails. And it's probably because you don't have to think so much. You have to be present, you know, and, and making sure that you're looking and, and checking right. what's happening. So I remember that feeling and I said, let me go back. Um, but the trails here <laughs> are very different. A little different from Ohio, right? <laughs> and from Puerto Rico. <laughs> so... I would love to share a fantastic story Do where, it. you know, yes. I went, no, but like, I, I, it's not like I went back and, oh my God, like here she comes and she's nailing everything. No, I had about a year where I went out there and I cried and I whined oh, no. and I fought and I threw my bicycle a thousand times and my poor boyfriend kept, you know, kind of like, you're fine, right. hanging in there. <laughs> and um, it was a struggle, but still... It will add to my training. The The purpose of me, you know, probably realizing that there was something harder than what I was doing okay. on the road kept me calm on okay. the road racing, sure. on the road races. Um, but I, I struggled a long time and um, not a lot of people know. So when somebody tells me, you know, hey... I'm having a hard time. I'm like, well, <laughs> you right. want to sit down and talk to me? <laughs> right. Um, because it's doable. You just have to take it one one piece at a time, one one thing at a time. Um, be patient. Be calm. You know, uh, focus. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really hard when I went back. Um, I, I don't think I could show that, or I was able to show it as I would have through social media because. It was, it, but it was really hard. It gotcha. was really hard. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's uh, uh, social media is always about, or seems to be about all the best things in our life, mm -hmm. right? We're always showing off mm -hmm. in, a, in a sense and maybe not trying to show off, but Hey, look at me. It's what yeah. did I did to do today. Um, it usually not, not many of us out there showcase that lower point. So yeah. I can see where they, those aren't the things that you're going to. Yes. And, and I would, I would, uh, every post that I did was, I mean, I wouldn't make it negative, but I would, you know, write something about like, well, it was a struggle, but you know, I finished with a smile, which was true. Right. Um, I was not amplifying the, the, the real struggle that I was having there. Sure. Um, and, and I was determined to make it better because I couldn't understand how so many people were doing it better than I was. Okay. Um, and it was not me competing against them. It was just like, well, if they can do it, because I have had that philosophy all along, I, 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 I can, I, I should be able to, to, to tackle it as everyone is doing it. Yeah. So it became like a goal, more like anything else. Um, and, and, and I'm good at that. Um, <laughs> you know, I will, I will find something that's not working and yeah. I will find all the resources to to fight and and make it better so and that helps me in life so excellent <laughs> do you feel like and this might be too personal so you know cut me off if you need to but <laughs> have you overcome all of these uh low points or is it still a, a work in progress oh it's, a, it's still a working process yeah. i mean i've come a long way from there and it, it's interesting sometimes my poor boyfriend remembers and he will we will film something at a trail you know some sort of accomplishment and he will find something from the past right on the same spot. Okay. And I will be able to see the difference. I'm like, oh, wow. Um, so I think it's a process that like life yeah. keeps going. Like sure. 
you will overcome something and then something else will happen and then you will tackle that and you know the, then on to the next thing and on to the next thing um but yeah i mean i don't have my tantrums though okay i don't <laughs> no more throwing bikes <laughs> no more throwing bikes <laughs> um i i would just sit down and cry and um here and there like if it's something like i've tried and tried and tried and still not you know still working on it maybe here right. there will you know shed a tear but not like before okay. like i have come a long way i still know that i have a lot but again <laughs> it's a working process that's great no and, and i i kind of figured the answer to be that i mean um it, that type of of uh, mental adversity mm -hmm. it is it's usually something that's a long time and i you know i know you as a pretty happy person so um i i thought we'd uh, i thought I'd, I'd ask anyway but yep. um it also shows too because it's a it's an incredible mental exercise for the sport that we love uh, oh, yeah. that we're into. Um, do you still run or are you only in the bikes now? No, um, in Ohio, I tried to do both yeah. and it, it was brutal. And I don't, I think that at some point I might attempt it again. Yeah. Um, but it was, it was brutal because of course, you know, I don't like, let's do a marathon and let's do a hundred miles on the bike. Right. I like the longer. Yeah. So, um, I, I I don't I think I might at, at some point okay. tackle it together again, but at the current moment I'm not. I'm like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. But the the endurance either of uh, of either sport like that putting in you know a hundred or two hundred or two hundred and fifty mm -hmm. miles. Um, there's a whole mental aspect, obviously. Oh right? yeah. And so um, I think the you know the process that you're going through yeah. just just. Uh, uh, adds to that in the sense that, it, or I should say, it flexes that a little bit more, and that you have more practice using those muscles because of whatever spot you're going through, whether it be high or low. Um, it could be at the end of one of your rides or a race. It could be at the very beginning, mm -hmm. like you said, at the start mm -hmm. start line issues. It could be 100 miles in, and then you need to figure out what you're doing at that point when you have got 150 left yeah. to, to go. Right? And I think, I think when it comes to the mind, you also have to keep working with it. I may not have the tantrums that I had a while back, but I noticed that recently I would have a lot of negative conversations in my head. Mm -hmm. And I believe that whatever is happening here transfers to your body. So I will find myself like, oh, I'm not as fast and I'm not this and I'm not that. And, you know, if I was with a group, I will say, don't wait for me. You know, all the right. negative things that we keep telling ourselves. Um, and it got to the point where... I felt uncomfortable with it. Okay. And I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> I need to stop. So I think that the mental aspect, it's also like, you know, learning skills. Like sure. you learn a few skills, you practice, you get better, and then you move on to the next level of skills. And Absolutely. I think that, you know, with the mind, it's just, it's just the same. Like you tackle a whole bunch of stuff. Like I can survive 500 miles out there on the road. Um, but now I was having all these conversations about like speed. Well, you know, I'm not as fast, blah, blah, blah. So... I think you have to keep working with the mind as well. Absolutely. Um, well, this certainly took a, t a, a turn <laughs> that I wasn't expecting, um, but I like it. I mean, I'm glad you were, you know, free enough to open up and comfortable enough with saying it. So thank you for that. Um, let's talk about some of the uh, races that you've done, though, because I know you have done a bunch um, uh, recently. Um, where, tell us uh, the last couple that you've been at, uh, um, your pick as to whichever ones you want to share. So uh, I've done a whole bunch of 500 miles on the road. Mm -hmm. um, I did uh, PBP, which is Paris, Brest Paris, um, which a lot of people in the ultra community might know about that race. It's a race that happens every four years okay. in France. Um, you do 1,200 kilometers, but you have to qualify by doing 200, 3, 4, and 600 kilometers. Wow. So once you qualify for those, then you do PBP. Okay. Um, and I did that in 2011. I tried to repeat for years after, and I couldn't do that year. Um, and then, you know, life happened. Sure. So at some point, I would love to go back with the experience that I have now and, and see the difference between the first time I did it. We, I was a rookie, for real. Yeah. And now. Um, I have done a lot of 500 miles. And um, when it comes to mountain biking, I like the longer ones. I like six. Okay. 12 hours, 24 hours. Um, I, I don't like the short ones and people ask me and I think I'm, I'm not, I was never the fastest 
but I can go forever. Yeah. So I have more chances when I do longer stuff than when I do, you know, shorter distances. So yep. if you give me a 50 miler versus a hundred, I'm like, no, I'm going to do the hundred. <laughs> <laughs> um, the same with the arrow eye bones. I, mean, sure. I, I, I wanted the six um, hours because, you know, I had a better sta uh, chance than at the three. Um, I still have to do my first 24 hours. I was supposed to do it this year, but practicing there in Tucson, actually, okay. I got my first concussion. Oh no. And I couldn't do it. So I have a, um, I, ha I am basically registered for next year. Okay. Um, so that will be interesting to see the difference be between a 24 hour on the road and a 24 hour um, on, a, on the trails. Absolutely. Um, but I have that one. Um, I attempted raw last year. Okay. Race across the West, which yep. is about 930 miles, going from Oceanside to Durango, Colorado. Yeah. And um, they stopped me at mile about 700 because I got Shermer snack. Which is? So the muscles on your neck collapse. Oh, okay. So your head just drops. Gotcha. And there's no way you can keep pedaling. Yeah. Um, so I was very, very upset because up until that moment, I did not have a DNF. Ever. And that was right. my, my pride and joy because I'm not, again, I may have a few, you know, first places or whatever in mountain bike mainly, yeah. um, or maybe races that no other women would like to do. Um, but I did not have a DNF. So okay. that was like my, okay, you yep. know, I may not have a record. I may not have, you know, a whole bunch of first places, but I'm proud to say that I have finished every single race that I started. And that gave me my first DNF and gotcha. it was brutal. Yeah. Um, because it was not like my legs couldn't keep going and, um, yeah, it was, it was bad and I'm not going to lie. I had a mental breakdown after that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I said, no way, I'm not ever going to try it again. And guess what? You know, two years later here I am like, Hmm, when would it be Maybe. a year to <laughs> attempt it again? Gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm actually crewing for somebody next, next week. Okay. So Excellent. that'll give me a taste again, a race across the West. So we'll see Very if good. I come back all excited. I'm like, Oh, let's do it next year. <laughs> um, yeah. Nice. Um, pronounce it again. What was the, the issue in your, with your neck? Shermer's neck. Shermer's neck. So, yeah. And does it come about from being in the in the cradle kind of too long, um, kind of holding your head at that? Correct. Kinda, it's an odd position, right? Unless Correct. you're a cyclist. Correct. To be kind of leaning over with your Correct. head up. So it's, it comes from... Yes. And, okay. and I, I, I have to say that my first episode was at um, another race. Oh. This race was four hundred, uh, 500 and some change. Okay. Um, a lot of climbing. It was in Utah. Um, I barely made it to the finish line. I think I had three minutes to spare. You had, I think I had 48 hours and I made it in like 47, 57. Yep. Um, my first episode, I have seen a lot of people. I have read about, about it before. And the first episode came at that race. Okay. And I remember I was, I don't know, maybe a hundred miles from the finish line. I'm like, I feel weird. Um, because it's nothing, it doesn't happen like right away. So like you're, you know, like this and all of a sudden it drops. Just, you, <laughs> right. you feel something weird. And it's not like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't think it's pain. Okay. It's, it's a feeling that it's weird. And I told my crew and I said, I think I'm having issues with my neck and little by little as I kept going, of course, sleep deprivation, you know, right. pedaling for 40 something hours. I mean, right. <laughs> there was a point where I'm like, oh, yep. I think that's it. Yeah. And um, by the time we figure out that that was happening, I had 60 to 80 miles. So okay. I was not going to ruin such a brutal ride or race over 60 to 80 miles. And I know that it may sound like that's a lot, but when you're doing 530, for example, 60 to 80 is nothing. Sure. So I held my head with my fists. Oh, boy. And I finished the race. But... <laughs> You can only imagine how many things I said through those 60 miles. Sure. I screamed and I cried and I said all the bad words in Spanish and English that you can think <laughs> about. Um, but I finished. But then, you know, race across the West, I still had 200 to go. So yeah. it was way too much. Too much. Yeah. Had you been, when the, when the first incident had happened, were, were you aware of this type of what could happen? Of, or was it? Did you ha not know what was going on at all? Just knew something was wrong? or I, I, I knew what it was okay. because being in the ultra community, I've seen other people. Sure. Um, I 
they didn't know. I wasn't for sure. I wasn't sure that it was happening. Okay. Until the point where I'm like, I cannot keep my head straight. Right. Um, but I had, you know, read about it. I'm, yeah. I'm happy though that it happened, you know, later in the race and sure. not like before. Right. But yeah, um, there's a lot of people who have all the greatest ideas. Um, uh, the the woman that won, uh, oh my gosh, how come I forgot her name? Uh, Leah Goldstein, I okay. mean, super awesome athlete. She gave me some some pointers because she's, she's suffered from it. So there's okay. a few things that you can do um, to prevent or at least help. Um, you know, while at race. Sure. So we'll see. I, okay. I haven't even thought about registering yet for right. Race Across the West. So when I do, I'll figure out what to do <laughs> with my neck. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's jump over to some of our races. So we met probably 2021, I think. I don't, mm, um, probably because I, well, we didn't have any races in 2020. So now that I think about mm -hmm. it and say it out loud, um, so 2021, it was probably the night series. I don't think I'd, I'd met you before and I didn't really, I, I know it took a couple, you know, just in passing, like saying hi to people and stuff like that. So I think it took a couple races before I started to identify you like, Oh, she's been here before. Oh, yeah. not only that, <laughs> she's, her name is Maria, you know, that kind of stuff as you get to know yeah. someone a little better. And Doug, of course you were both together. Um, I think I, my, earliest memory like true on like some of substance memory of substance was uh the vertigo race at white tanks that mm -hmm. year where we had to shut it down early because of the thunderstorm <laughs> um you and doug were both in the six or nine probably maybe the nine hour i think so i think we wanted to do longer that day yeah, yeah. Um, and it was right around, I think the six hours were just about finishing mm -hmm. just before, might've been a half mm -hmm. an hour or so mm -hmm. on one way or the other. It was very close. Uh, but for you guys, it was definitely a, a weather related. We don't feel safe about sending anyone yep. back out on this loop. Um, and the funny thing that I thought was, and again, I was really just getting to know you knew the, knew that you had a name, you know, was, knew that you had been at a race, you know, it didn't really know too much about you yet, but knew of you. Um, and I'm like, she's not going to want to stop. <laughs> Because you always came out to the law and you went for the, yeah. the longest races that we had on, on each successive race where I was getting to know you. Um, and I'm like, this is going to be a tough conversation. <laughs> and then I remember you and Doug both came in um, and I, I kind of you know stopped you as you came through. And I said, hey, I think we need to at least pause the race, if not cancel, uh, not cancel, but, you know, s uh, suspend it, stop it for good because of the weather. And you guys looked at each other, looked at me and said, we're good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's very interesting because everybody thinks we're crazy people that will refuse to uh, we're very disciplined when it comes to that actually yeah. you know we're not irresponsible is the word right um and actually i mean now i'm going to disclose this i don't uh -oh. think i probably disclose <laughs> this but at some point sometimes in these races you think you're alone out there because you know right. there's a gap in between people yes and there was a point in that race that i there was a segment i didn't like at all okay so when i started seeing all the weather changing i was at that point and i really really got scared I'm like okay. oh my gosh i don't think i can do this one more time right i think we were close to the six hour so yeah. i'm like i don't think i can do this you know another lap with this weather i'm freaking out so um <laughs> i and i think that either dog catched me or i i we came across each other yeah and he's like weather's getting bad so i'm gonna stick around and um yeah we, we were good we were happy actually that you stopped us <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I was i was a little nervous as a new race director at the time um not used to the tough conversations nah, yeah, yeah. um you know and that you know at the time i think we weren't quite sure when i first spoke to you i think we weren't quite sure if we were just going to suspend it for a minute you know let the weather yeah. pass and move on um but I know we also didn't have a lot of people in that particular yeah. category, so it would have been like, not as bad to have yeah. you know only three or four or five of you just stop Correct. completely versus you know fifteen, twenty, thirty. Yeah. Um, so we didn't have that to worry about. But I think the weather actually got worse, if I yeah. remember correctly. Yeah. So it was actually was a good call <laughs> yeah. to not only stop, but like we finally said, you know what, we're not gonna. Yeah. You know, this is gonna be it. We're gonna get you the six hour. I think we give you the six hour time, uh, finish um, to to move on. Yeah. Uh, because uh, I do remember packing up that race was uh, difficult because the rain mm -hmm. got harder, the wind got that hard yeah. the lightning got more prevalent yeah. and i'm like everyone else got to go home except for me <laughs> <laughs> and mike we had uh mike was there with us so he was he was helping me break stuff down but yeah it got worse before it got uh -huh. better that's for sure that night um and then you guys came out uh so that was vertigo which is august um 
I can't remember if you were at every other race, but I do remember you being at the the winter races, uh, the mm-hmm. ones at uh, Frenzy in, in December, mm-hmm. um, because you did the twelve hour there. You both did the twelve hour. Um, what are you excited for? So you have you've signed up before. I, I'll, I'll ask that question in a second. You've signed up for uh, a couple of the night races so far. You've been busy, so you've missed them. I know. Um, are you looking forward to to really getting into one of them? And that might be a loaded question, but so when are we going to see you? When, when are you going to so come back I to us? So I am excited. Okay. I, I was super bummed that first year I'm part of the team. Yeah. I I cannot believe that some of the things that I don't have control over are on those weekends. Sure. And I will hate to say publicly here that I <laughs> believe that the next one, which is my favorite one, which is Usury, yes. I think I have something. Oh no, yes, You're missing and I'm like, it again. Oh my goodness. I have to check the calendar, but I'm I'm hopeful that at least I can make it to one because I really miss it. I yeah. mean, I, it became a, a very important part of, of my process on the trails. Um, I use those races, this, especially the night ones, um, to train for my road. Sure. Because I was giving myself time on the bicycle at night. I mean, on trails. Right. You know, with all the creatures of the night. So, yep. um, and like I said, you'd not necessarily ride with people because everybody's spread around. So right. you think you're, you know, out there on your own. So I am super bummed that, yes, this year has been like, bad in terms of me being able to get there yeah but hopefully i can get to at least well one. we we are looking forward to seeing you out there as always we uh, you guys both of you are, are, are missed when you don't make it uh just before you came in and we sat down today i was actually uh finishing up the details on those winter races the november and december races to get those uh up uh um the the changes made uh they're making a couple changes and uh um registration open and all yep. that good stuff so um those are definitely the longer ones too because we have the 100 miles and and both of Is that, those that's a uh uh frenzy right frenzy in december and yeah then, uh, tonto mountain in frenzy uh, was a challenge for me it was yes. my first 100 miler i think yeah it's a good loop yeah or four <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i tried the other day and i was a little bit rusty and i'm like oh my gosh did i did did I do these like a while back? <laughs> yep. It's uh, those two. I, I know that you two, I don't know if you did Tonto before. That was one I also at Usury Daytime. I did I, the 100. I, okay. I did yeah. the 100 there, yes. Um, so that was the two. And because you were coming in today, I was thinking of you as I was doing these, making these changes yeah. and edits on the on the website and such because these two, are, I knew spook, spoke, spoke to you mm-hmm. me, um, in, the, in the sense of the 100 mile distance yep. and, and getting out there and getting it done. So um, if you can't make it to a night race, which of course we hope you can, <laughs> um, definitely hope to see you at, at uh, one of those. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that. So very cool. Um, so you did. You joined. So uh, we're just saying how you know we met a couple years ago. You've been racing, you know, pretty consistently with us, and of course with you know other places that you go to. But what was it about um, uh, joining the team? What made you decide that uh, joining the race team was uh, something you wanted to follow? Uh, Revipa has been a special. I don't know if I should say company or I, I think that. That's when I started to feel better on the trails. Okay. I had my meltdowns and my year of like, ah. and all of a sudden I decide to start doing the night races, the night series, and it became part of that process where I mentally got better. Okay. Um, obviously, I was the only female, so I got podium like every single time, right. first place, <laughs> and you add those to your resume. Right. But I think that regardless, um, I was doing very good with, with those events, okay. and um, once again, it was it was part of those things that you say, "Wow, you know, I'm doing this." Yeah, you know, I'm riding at night. Yep, trails six hours. How many women are there? None. Right. So you know, it became a, a very, I don't know, for me, it's just, and I have all the collection of like medals and trophies. So okay. that's that's the thing that I like the most. Sure. Um, but yeah, it became like a special. And when you guys said that there was a team, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I Very didn't even cool. hesitate. I'm like, yep. Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna, you know, 
include me with yeah. Oh, I'm for gonna... sure. We we um, I mean I wasn't the full. I, I got to I got to look at it after our marketing and, and Bryce um, uh, looked through everything and and got to add my two cents and stuff too. But um, of course we looked at everyone and uh, uh, I think we got a, a pretty good group together yeah. for our our second year, our first real team. Unfortunately, it was just one person last year. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm not sure if we if we didn't advertise it enough with the with the um, story is behind that one but we have a good team men and women this year um but you mentioned it just a minute ago and i i uh part of the of what i was doing downstairs again before we got here was the uh soiree Mm -hmm. um, which we hold on the same day as tonto mountain but it's a separate event on the same grounds for women only um so you're saying you know you're the only women only woman excuse me in a lot of our races in it anyway um and i grant granted we are smaller than some of the other race company and races out there so we don't draw as many people just percentage wise um what do you think so in in your experience what uh what can we do um to get more women out to the races because i know that you're out there riding i i see you know i, I pass women all the time every time i go out for a ride there's you know the races, though, are, are, are I don't, a different I don't, story sometimes. I don't think it's anything you guys related. I think women in the sport, there's less, obviously. Sure. Um, I did a race the other day um, in California. Um, and the women were, not the pro women, but the women, the the commoners like i I, used, <laughs> okay. I like call me myself gotcha. okay um we were at the end every single age group was at the end we were the last group to go out there and okay. we went out about an hour after the first group wow um and it was i mean a small group considering how many other people were signed up yeah so i i think it has to do more with the mental aspect i think that all those conversations that i have um there's a lot of women having them, you know, I'm okay. not cut up for these. I'm not strong enough. I'm not brave enough. I don't have a group that will, you know, say, Hey, come with us and we'll wait for me. I think yeah. those conversations are in every women's, um, brain, at least the ones trying to do something more. Sure. Um, so, so I don't think there's anything specific, you know, when it comes to the race itself or the route itself, because, like I keep telling them, there's no shame in walking. Like you can sign up and if you have to walk the entire time, then you walk the entire Absolutely. time. Um, but I think that what you guys are doing for the uh, soiree with um, Stephanie, it's amazing yeah. because it's a way to say, hey, come on over, we will teach you a few things and then you can go practice. I think right. women like that a lot. Good. Um, so I just think it's, it's more of that. It's okay. doing more of that, you know, little events where they feel like it, they can accomplish. Every time I've taken any of her clinics, I hear the same with all the women. The same things like, oh, well, you know, I don't, all the same excuses. And they're right. not bad excuses, just that's their thought process. Right. And even though sometimes I don't show it, sometimes I myself question, you know, a lot of things. Um, like I didn't mention that I have Leadville now coming along and there's days where I'm like, yeah, <laughs> and some days where I'm like, no, no, I don't want to go. Like oh, I'm no. not ready. Okay. So I, I think I don't know. I think it's a it's a it's a woman thing. <laughs> gotcha. Understand? Okay. Maybe I don't understand. Um, but uh, no, I get your, I get mm-hmm. what you're saying. Um, I know. Uh, so Marion, another member of our race team, um, and um, one of my co-hosts when we do the uh, podcast for mm-hmm. the night races, um, she has kind of the same. Same concerns, worries, because oftentimes she's in the, she usually signs up for the three hour and she has a lot of the, a lot of times she's alone, um, mm-hmm. and maybe just one other, yep. maybe just one other yep. person, um, one other woman. And so I can, I, I can understand how, you know, if you consistently keep coming in and keep coming in and it's great to win, right? It's great to get the podium, yeah. but sometimes somewhere along the way, you want to actually have a side by side competition, <laughs> exactly. right? Um, you can go out and do your best. And, and, and a lot of these races, whether, uh, you know, you're on the road or on a mountain bike, it's, it's usually you against you, yeah. um, for the most part. Um, I feel the same way. I'm, I'm projecting myself on yeah. you. So I hope you feel the same way, yep. but, um, but yeah, um, every once in a while you want to have, uh, there's somebody here who's, you know, in my age group, in mm-hmm. my category, and I want to beat him or I want to yeah. beat her. Um, I don't want to just um, PR from my last race or, 
or do better than I did, you know, this, at this race last year and still get the first place because there was no one else to ever take, mm-hmm, you know, to mm-hmm. take second from me, um, to, or to take first from me. Um, so I get it. So yeah, just trying to, you know, get the idea and, and, you know, how we can, uh, uh, spread the word and get more people out. And I hope, you know, Suaro Soiree helps, um, from what I've, the feedback we've received, it's, it's, yeah, it I think always seems to go over well. I so, think does. um, we may not be getting them into the 12 hours yet or the six hour <laughs> registrations just yet, but you know, even a single lap or a double lap on, yeah. on one of the shorter courses, um, it, it's, certainly is going to bring more people out mm-hmm. and, and hopefully get the uh, word out that, you know, you can do it and um, you can compete right there against the other women and, and be there on the trail with the men and not be too intimidated that, you know, it's 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 all in good fun. It's in competition, but, you know, we're having, you know, we're here to have fun and no one's here to yeah. like bully anyone. And, and I think that if you focus on that, you will gain a lot. Like sometimes I might get nervous over, you know, men being out there or other women. And I'm like, no. This is the time you did last year. Let's just work for your PR. Yeah. Um, but sometimes working for your PR, guess what? Get to a podium or, sure. you know, beat probably half of the guys. Um, there will always be people that are faster than you or stronger than you. Correct. And there will always be people that are, you know, weaker and slower. So right. I just think that it's focusing on your performance for that day and what you want to accomplish. And for example, for those six hours, it might be, I want to survive the six hours for right. the first time. So I think that Usher is a f- perfect spot because yeah. it's very mellow. Yes, it is. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I think you're you're on track. You're cool. on track. Well, thank you. I appreciate the, the vote of confidence. <laughs> um, so you're a coach also. I am. Tell us about that. How long have you been coaching? Um, For a while. Okay. I don't think I took it as serious as I am now. Um it came after, you know, through the France in 2012 where sure. people wanted, oh my gosh, I want you to train me. Um, and I devoted years to, you know, learn because it does, a lot of people get confused and they think that because you're winning races, you're a great coach. Right. And some people hire the, you know, people that win. And that doesn't necessarily mean that they know what to do as coaches yes absolutely so i took time um to learn um i think that i also bring to the table the fact that i'm not always winning sure um so i'm always fighting out there and i'm always you know i'm I'm very consistent and 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 i have great i believe um and and i would like to believe that that's also something that i'm helping my clients with um, but yeah, I'm, I'm out there. Uh, I like coaching women mainly, but okay. I always get men as well. <laughs> um, I like more of the long distances, but I also have some other people who just do other stuff. Okay. Um, so I don't think I ever say no. Um, but yeah, I'm out there. <laughs> do you coach both road and mountain? Yes. Or, okay. Anyone yes. that- for for the coaching piece, is there one that you lean towards more that you prefer, that you enjoy coaching? Probably, um, probably road. Okay. And probably longer distances, um, but it's mainly because that's my thing. Sure. Um, I'm I'm learning a lot with the um, on the mountain bike side, um, so yeah, I'm 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 liking that part as well. Okay. Um, I'm practicing with Doug. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing Excellent. better. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming along. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I uh, was going to ask another question about coaching here real quick, and uh, it just slipped as we started laughing. So now I have to try and, uh, and backtrack, but it's, I'll, I'll think of it uh, and uh, we'll come back to it. Um, yeah, another thing that you're very active in is Instagram. Um, <laughs> we, you follow, I follow you at least. I don't know if you follow me, but I, I know I, I see. Okay. <laughs> um, I see. That's right. Yeah. Of course I knew that. Um, no, I see your stuff out there all the time. Um, mostly South Mountain because I think you guys are close to South Mountain, yes. right? So kind of like me, it's a it's the home base. It's the place you go more often. Um, but I did want to ask, uh, and I've almost wanted to ask a few times on Instagram, but I, I it, it just came out that uh, we were going to sit down for this, so I thought I'd just wait. And it's not a huge deep question like I'm seeming to make it as I lead up to it. But uh, you're making me it, nervous. I know, right? Here we go. Ready? <laughs> uh, who does all the videography for you? <laughs> So, yeah, let me explain because I had somebody, I think it was my mom this week, actually. She's like, I don't 
know when to call you because I see you riding all the time. And I'm like, well, you know that sometimes I just take one ride to do several videos and several sure. pictures and I use them through the week. I try to post something different every day. Yep. Um, but it's mainly Doug or myself. So, okay. yeah, and we don't, we're not, we need to improve our techie stuff. So we probably okay. need to get a drone or something. <laughs> um, at the current moment, it's just phones. Yep. Um, but it's it's just him and I, and there are rides where I'm not feeling it, or he's not feeling it, sure. or where we just want to go um, to a spot and practice, you know, skills. Okay. So those are great because then you know we just set the bicycle, and one of us practices, and the other one films, and sure. vice versa. Yep. So <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. wish I had somebody who would <laughs> do that for <laughs> us. I would love to create a movie with all the you know leading to a race. All the clips. Um, with all the you know tantrum rooms or you know like oh i don't want to wake up or right. all this stuff so but at the current moment it's just us just you with the phone <laughs> how many uh how many takes does it do you generally take oh, before i mean are you gosh. purposely oh i didn't do that right or i if you are you are you sensing that you're not in the right form or did you hit the feature wrong and say oh i gotta go do it again or do you sometimes plan on just going i'm gonna ride this five times we're gonna take five shots We'll pick the best one. So sometimes more the pictures than anything else. Okay. So women, I, I have to say that m mainly women are more, you know, self-aware of, you know, their, their the physique. Face. Yes. <laughs> okay. So sometimes I um, take, yeah, I make him take the picture a thousand times because I'm like, no, I need to turn this way and look this way and whatever. Okay. Yesterday, actually, was it yesterday or the day before? I laughed because sometimes I see all the ones that we take before we finally take one, and sure. I want to post the whole thing so people laugh. <laughs> right. Um, I think it'll be funny. The videos, though, are are not so complicated, actually. Okay. So typically, we know there is an area that we are nailing, yeah. and one of us will go ahead drop the bike and get the other one but the other one is coming with an intention of like nailing it sure um i can tell you here and there i may go like oh that was bad and and then i'll go do it again sure um but the videos we don't it, it is what it is okay so the videos what do you see it's it's what it was um and and we don't spend hours you know like oh let's stop here and feel like 17 takes right um sometimes he's faster than me so sometimes he just goes and waits for me. Sure. Um, and then, of course, he stops, and then I'll go and set myself, and then film him. <laughs> right. So, um, but the pictures, yeah, the pictures. I have to say, um, yeah. They Sometimes have, I'm like, they're, they're, are they they're oh. posed a little yeah. bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, just a little just bit. A little bit. <laughs> um, I like the idea of the blooper reel of uh, of taking, like maybe you know, Monday you post the one that you want to post because this is yeah. the, this is the idea you want to show. This is the form, whatever the, and then. <laughs> Maybe on Thursday, you post like the other four yeah. from Monday and you say, these are the ones you didn't see. Or, you know, <laughs> that would be cool. That would be you, pretty you funny. Just, just gave me a great idea. You know, link them all together. Yeah. Just put it as a, like a two or three minute video. of. Like, and I make a lot of faces. So you will see all my. Yeah, I think um, we all, we yeah. all do. We're just not always <laughs> videoing ourselves. So um, we're on here today going. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I remembered my coaching question. Um, so going back to the coaching piece, um, what was it was was it the idea of like a, another job something to do did you feel like what got you into the coaching did you want to give back did yeah. you want to train the, the next generation yes. sometimes so, they're not the younger next generation physically but sometimes they're the same age gener actually next generation of yeah i think it's more now i would love to go more into depth of you know skills and younger women but i think it's it's more not only giving back but i struggle so much okay and again i was not the and a lot of people will disagree when they hear me say these but i don't think i was a you know i was born super talented and i don't need too much I, i've had to work hard sure and i still do right um and, and I'm I'm a normal human who, you know, has 17 jobs and the kids <laughs> and the puppies and the cats and a life. Um, and, and I want to inspire anybody who actually wants to do anything cycling related at whatever age. Sure. To do it. Yeah. 
Um, so it started when my life changed at that moment. Okay. Um, because people started asking, but then I said, you know what? I don't want to do anything else that is non cycling related. So um, I think it was more giving back. Okay. But also trying to inspire other people. And, and I get a lot of messages, you know, I don't post about that, but I get a lot of, you know, these, and, and sometimes you don't know that you are impacting others, others and other people's lives, sure. other people's lives. And, you know, when I get a message, like you have no idea as of how much, you know, your words meant to me today, or I needed to hear that today for right. X or Y. Mm. Um, and when that, when I hear those things and, and and when people send they I have gotten messages that are just very touching when I have been in my worst and I think, you know, I I disappointed my my people or whatever and right. I have gotten these amazing messages. I'm like, Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> they don't care about if I win or not. They just care about like the thought I put. Yeah. Um, so I think it's more like giving back and trying to help anybody who feels like they can't. Gotcha. Yeah, I think um, they they and they're kind of giving back to you in that sense when they write when they write, mm-hmm, when they reach mm-hmm. out to you. Excuse me, I'm having trouble with my words there. Um, when they're reaching out to you to give you that you know, to send you that thoughtful note, um, um, it's it's something to you know it lets you know obviously that that, that you're out yeah, that you're out there, but that you are making a, an impression on people. Yeah, um, and I see that too when I come across uh, uh, your Instagram posts. Um, daily, um, because you're not just putting out the "Yay, look at me! I rode this today for the first time," or "I'm getting better at this." Well, some, of, many of them actually are, are in, in that way, where you are getting better and kind of um, you don't post the side by sides yet. You know, we we're talking about that just now, but um, you just say, "I, you know, I've had difficulty with this particular drop or whatnot, and yeah. I got a little better on this one." Um, they are more inspiring to the sense that you're working at it, and that even your ride, um, no pun intended, is a work in progress oh, yeah. uh, as you get better and better work on your skills um, and then share them with others. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, thank you. And and there's a lot out there, you know, like social media projects so much perfection. Yes. The wrong one. And and it's hard. You know, it's it's hard not to compare yourself with, you know, others or you know, at my age compared to younger women or sure. you know, women that are super fit. I'm like, oh. um, you know, so I don't know. I try I try. Yeah. <laughs> No, I try. I it stands out. And, and granted, you know, we've known each other for a couple of years, so I might be a little biased. I would consider you a friend. I do consider you a friend. So I might be a little biased, but uh, it does. It stands out as a different type of, of uh, you post, the mm-hmm. posts that you give out. Um, they're not just the woohoo, look at this. Look at <laughs> look at the cool place I'm at. I'm in the Pacific Northwest riding or I'm in Arizona riding. Or yeah. I'm in California. It's it's something that's a, a progress. It's yeah. something that where you're trying to show someone that it's not just about, you know, that kind of uh, mm-hmm. uh, aspect of it. Um, all right, going from the touching to the superficial, um, <laughs> you and Doug both wear some great outfits when you're, when you're out there. Um, your kits are fantastic, so I think it w- we would be remiss not to mention uh, who you. I think you only re- wear one uh, one designer, one brand. But I that's, do. We, but, but give them a shout out because I anybody do. who knows you, anyone who knows you, um, anyone who just sees you go by if you're if they're at South Mountain and, and you go. and Doug fly by. Um, <laughs> you stand out from the crowd for sure. So, uh, so let everyone know who, kind of who, who, who do you wear? I, where this is the red carpet. Like who are you? Wearing? Oh my gosh. They're going to be happy actually. Of so course, we will make I, sure to I have to give two shout tag. outs. Yeah. Um, uh, first of all, it's tres piñas, um, which means three pineapples. Yep. Um, they're based in Miami. Uh, it's, it's an amazing team, mainly women. I will say okay. 99% women and dog. And um, because he, course. you know, he loves, he was actually the the one who found the brand Oh, um, because of the, you know, colors and we fell in love with the kit and um, we got it and we loved it and we said, sure. So yeah, it's, there's a group of women that are part of that team and they are all very, very supportive and, you know, it's, it's. It's been an amazing experience after okay. finding a brand that you actually like. Yeah. Being part of that group is just next level. And and people are recognizing the brands out there. You know, I've had 
places where they go like, oh my God, tres piñas. Or, um, you know, like, oh, kudos for best kit. And I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> um, but yeah. We should uh, have more of those awards. Tres piñas. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm that person who's super loyal to whatever I like. <laughs> sure. That's a good thing. Um, then my socks, I have not the ones I have today, but my socks, I mean, fresh, uh, freshly minted. They're, okay. They have been my right uh what is it that they say right right or die, right or die. <laughs> um from day one actually okay. um and funny because i came across them through a another group of women that i was part of another uh, community and the owner recognized me so she worked for us back when we did the project the tour de france project okay. there were a lot of brands i like, super high-end famous brands that helped us of course and she was part of one of those and then she came um and developed this company with with the socks and um she's 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 been amazing so though i will not use any other socks um except for for freshly minted so <laughs> very good hey you heard it here freshly minted socks tres piñas kits yep um I, I assume uh, freshlyminted.com and, and trispinas.com. I will pretty... assume so, but I'm pretty sure if you Google the name, <laughs> well, you will find it. <laughs> right, we've got a pretty uh, we've got a pretty smart audience that'll be able to figure it yeah. out. So if you're looking for uh, some some pretty cool, flashy, might win you best, <laughs> might get you best uh, uh, get up um, yeah. award, um, definitely check them out. Yep. Um, that's great. So what do you have coming up? What is uh, on your calendar? Um, so I have a race that I have. I registered last minute this Saturday, actually. Okay. Um, I, I, I've been quiet about it because I've been, you uh -oh, know, all I'm, over the place. I'm putting you on the, putting you in the spotlight. Yeah. Um, fitness wise. So I've been, it, it's a struggle for real. So please do not ever feel bad over, you know, having a bad year or two bad years or three bad years or months or days or whatever. Right. It's a struggle. Um, so I wanted to do this Saturday thing just for the fun of it. Okay. Um, so I've been very quiet. You know how I start like posting like, oh, my T minus whatever day. Sure. I was very quiet yeah. about it. So I'm just going to do it and then <laughs> post after. Gotcha. Um, okay. We're not going to get a, a mm -mm. little teaser drop nope. of who, okay, um, where so, to find you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a road though. So that's okay. why you saw me again on the road bike. Yep. Um, and then I have, I'm going to be Korean, which is, I think I like crewing for athletes more than I like racing. Okay. And I have the opportunity to crew next week for somebody that it's an amazing human and athlete. And I'm excited that she invited me to be part of her team. Um, so I think that I'm, I'm 50, 50 with crewing and, um, racing. Um, and then I have Leadville, which again, like I said, some days I'm like, yeah. Right. And someone like, no, <laughs> Um, but then again, it's, it's, it's normal when you yeah. have, you know, a few bumps on the road and you're not feeling it. It's, it's normal. But I think, I think that's part of life. So right. I think about two or three years ago, I decided not to leave with what ifs in my life okay. and I rather go tackle it and, you know, learn from it. If I fail, I fail. But then I'm like, oh, well, yeah, I tried it and I failed rather than what if, right. you know, I yeah. would have gone. So I have Leadville in August and then all the local races around, including our Vipas. Uh, hopefully I can make it. We hope to see you. <laughs> With we the tours to that you. I've been doing lately. So, right. yeah. Very good. What else, uh, what else can we learn about Maria before you go today? Oh, wow. That's an interesting question. Um, what would you like to tell us? I'm a very passionate individual. Okay. And I was not born that way. Um, and, and every time I have the opportunity, I usually say, you know, you got to fight for what you want. Um, and, and, and you have to go against the odds and you have to trust your gut feeling. Um, I, I think that every human has this innate power of achieving a lot. I'm not going to say everything. I'm not going to say that because I don't believe in that, but I think yeah. that you have the potential to tackle anything that you want and, and and be good at it. Um, I just think you have to put, you know, a lot of mind, heart, and, you know, body into it. Um, I think it's a combination. Um, I'm, I'm passionate and, you know, I do it 
mainly for those who cannot do it. Okay. Um, and then to show my boys, uh, you know, how to proceed in life. Right. So I don't know if that's something that people don't know. I think that people know that, but. <laughs> I, I think uh, I think they learned it just now for sure. Um, and it sounds like something that would make a good coach. You know, it sounds like a, uh, uh, a personal belief of um, that passion yeah. um, that's going to make a good coach. Uh, you have two boys, right? Three. Three boys. Yes. And they're grown. Yes. Have you told them that you're going to be on a podcast? No. Because <laughs> I'm Are, their mom. Will, will you tell them that you'll be on a podcast? Yes. Okay. And, and they, you know, they follow and they, but I'm still their mom. Of so it's, for, and for them, it's normal, you know, for them. So you won't be the cool mom or you will be the cool I, mom? I am because okay. sometimes they will casually share it with someone and they will go like, what? They're friends. <laughs> right. And it's funny how they come to me and say, the youngest the other day came to me and they're like, he's like, all my friends here. Uh, he was playing with some friends mm -hmm. online and he's like, all my friends think you're the big deal. I'm like, I am. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, they're like super impressed with all you've, do you've done. I'm like, well, yeah. But to them, it's like normal. Sure. You know, I mean, yeah, they, they grew they, up with it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so everyone, uh, yeah, everyone else sees you as like, holy cow, look at her. And uh, they're just like, that's my mom. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. And they've stopped here and there when I have my tantrums, you know, in front of them, they will go like, mom, how many women your age are doing what you're doing? <laughs> so they actually get the, the notion. They, sure. they know, but yeah. Very good. <laughs> Well, Maria, thank you for coming in thank today. Thank you for inviting me. Um, it's been wonderful. I do hope to see you at a race pretty soon, oh, or one yes. of my races pretty yes, soon, but I I'll look for you online at the other ones <laughs> and all your Instagrams too. Um, just to wrap things up, uh, this will uh, drop right before our big Woody race up in Flagstaff. So if you haven't, uh, online registers closed, you'll have to drive up, make the drive to, uh, to register in person, but there's still room. So head up to Flagstaff on Sunday, the 11th of June and uh, race the big Woody loop. It's a great and great way to get out of the heat here in Phoenix for at least a few hours. <laughs> um, we have Monday night group rides every Monday at uh, South Mountain, Pima Mountain Trailhead. So come out there 6.30 every Monday, rain or, sh rain or shine. Um, although usually not rain, so. Um, <laughs> we're in Arizona. Uh, yeah, we're in Arizona. Um, after Big Woody, we have we go back to the night races, Stunner and Vertigo in July and August. So uh, check those out online if you haven't yet. Uh, as as, uh, as Maria said, Stunner is a great one to come out to. It's at Usury Regional Park. Um, the trails are, I don't want to say they're buttery smooth because there's a few bumps here and there, but they're, it's a nice place to go out, especially if it's your first mm -hmm. first race. Um, it's, a, it's a good course, and it's a nice, easy 10-mile loop uh, if you do the shortest. Um, and then uh, Vertigo is a little bit different from that. It's a little bit more technical, but still a fun race. And, and riding at night, which I think is just its own, its cool. own magic. <laughs> so exactly. So thanks for, for turning in. Uh, thanks for uh, coming out again here, Maria. Thank you, uh, Thank guys. you all for listening to Maria's story, and we will see you next time. See you. Thank you.